Hi, this is Ken Wells, NM9P, and I'm going to demonstrate briefly how to monitor your own transmit audio using the full duplex feature that was just introduced to the Flex 6000 series in software version 1.5, 1.51. First thing you want to do is make sure that uh, you're transmitting not into an antenna, but into the transverter output right here. Select the transverter output. I have a little 50 ohm dummy load across the uh, transverter output on my rig, but I don't think it really matters. You're only transmitting with about uh, 30 to 35 milliwatts, so that's not going to go anywhere, and it's certainly not going to hurt the thing to transmit into the open circuit. The other thing is you need to activate right down here the full duplex toggle, and uh, when that lights up, you know you're in full duplex. And then... Uh, Mute slice A because you're going to be transmitting on slice A and uh, you're not going to be receiving on slice A. So uh, then start a new slice right there. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, make sure my receiver is on the same frequency 28.4.100, 28.400 here and that the receive filter is at the widest that you want to listen to. When you listen, you'll be uh, hearing the way your transmit signal would sound in a receiver whose filter is the same as what your slice B is. Now I'm going to mute my uh, recording microphone here and then activate the receive uh, through the DAX into this recording uh, so that you can hear what it sounds like. So here we go. Okay, now I'm transmitting, and I'm listening to my own signal using the uh, Flex Full Duplex feature. You can do this when you transmit with the uh, transverter output, and uh, you can do it if you are using uh, one antenna on the transmit slice and a different antenna on the receive slice, but you can only listen to the same frequency if you're on very low power, like one or two watts. Anything more than that, and you're likely going to overload the input of your receiver, and you get a very distorted and splattered signal, and it won't sound like what you really sound like. But on the flex, it doesn't matter how much power you're putting out. When you listen to yourself, you're going to sound almost exactly like what your transmitted signal would with 100 watts output. Now, I'm going to expand my receive window here. And then I'm going to also zoom in so I can see the uh, pan adapter showing the signal. And you notice the uh, audio on my uh, transmitter is uh, fairly well balanced across the frequency spectrum. And you can look at the uh, divisions here. If you zoom in correctly, you know, here's 500 hertz, 1,000 hertz, 1,500 hertz, uh, 2,000. 2500 and 3000 uh, hertz. It's a, a nice graphic representation of your transmit audio. Now, the uh, audio I'm using right now, I call it my rag Jew audio. It's uh, almost 3K wide. And here's my profile on my equalization down here. I'm using processing at the normal position. And it's a, a pretty well balanced, nice, pleasant audio. At least uh, my friends on the rank two frequencies I hang out tell me that. Now I'm going to call up another profile here. Now this is my DX profile. It's a little bit more narrow. I rolled off some low ends here to 165 and I'm down to 2900 hertz. And I boosted the highs just a little bit in the 1000 to 3000 hertz. Uh, which I call the uh, the enuncials, the articulation frequencies. A little bit of rise here makes it a little bit more understandable when you're working weak signals, trying to punch a pileup. Now, some guys go way, way high, which makes it a lot more irritating. And if it's too unbalanced, too high here, and not enough down in the lows, then you can't understand the vowel sounds, which are down in this frequency area. So it's, it's important to have a good balance and a little bit will do a lot. <laughs> so uh, now I'm going to get off of this because I do know that this is a little bit more of an irritating uh, sound, but it does punch through a lot of pileups. 
going back to the right shoe uh, uh, profile. Now, you can have as many of these profiles as you want. I've got about six different ones, so different bandwidths. If I'm uh, trying to work with extreme weak signals or punch an extreme pileup, I've got one that's even punchier than my DX pileup, uh, busting uh, audio. Uh, it, but it's you don't want to talk to somebody in a rag to you for, for more than about 30 seconds with that audio because it just really sounds nasty. But it is punchy. Now, you can make all kinds of adjustments. Uh, unfortunately, when you monitor your own audio, there is a small delay coming back into your headphones, which I call sometimes it gets into that idiot timing zone that it feeds right back into your ears as you talk. And unless you get used to it, it can make you sound like an idiot because the uh, voice coming back in your ears is delayed just long enough that it can scramble your thoughts. And you kind of go, uh, bleh, bleh, bleh. Uh, so uh, you got to get used to that. One way to get around it is to use your DAX output here and feed that DAX output into a recording program like Audacity and record yourself. You can uh, just transmit, record your audio on Audacity and save it and play it back. And you can play a number of different recordings at the same time. You can make a string of recordings with several different profiles that you're experimenting with and play it back, listen to it and say, hey, I like that one. And then you can fine tune that for some even better audio. It takes a little bit of work to get great audio, but the new full duplex monitoring capability of the 6000 series makes that simple. You don't need a second receiver anymore. You just listen to yourself. And if you can't listen to yourself live with headphones without getting into that idiot uh, feedback <laughs> timing, then and you can record yourself using Audacity or any other program and play it back and listen to it. The best way to adjust your audio is to record it and listen to it. Make small adjustments, record it, listen to it some more. And uh, you can watch yourself on your graphic display, listen to it in your headphones and the recording. And you can make the Flex sound like one of the best rigs out there. It has wonderful audio if you work at it. Well, this is NM9P, Ken Wells. Great audio, guys. Work at it. Have some fun. And I'll see you on the air.